Welcome to Game 4 of Road to the Show. For the ALCS, we got the Mariners one game away from sweeping the Tigers to go to their second consecutive World Series. In Detroit, so we got Paxson for the Mariners and Norris for the Tigers. Man, I can't believe the Mariners lost to the Indians, though, for Game 1. It could have gone 3 4 4. <laughs> They still could do that, though. In front of a standing room only crowd, this joint is a buzz with activity. It's game four now of the American League Championship Series between the Seattle Mariners and the Detroit Tigers. Again, everyone, Matt Vaskersian, welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me are Eric Harris and Steve Lyons and Steve. Lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. And I don't know that I would say that I'm totally surprised that it's three games to none right now. I mean, I knew they were capable of going on a win like this, but to come in and put it to them the way they have, that's what I think all three of us maybe didn't expect. I just think it shows the character of this ball club. And it starts right at the top. I think it's a really good reflection of the manager that he's got them to where they are right now. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups in the first pitch. Coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. here a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. More from the guys as this one goes along, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Seattle Mariners, as their order will read like this. a look at the starter of this lineup will match up against as so you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. Jason Lockland to stand in, and he was one of the heroes last time out with two big home runs. Well, he picked a good time for him, too. Here on the big stage in October, the way he was attacking the baseball, he is definitely not lacking for confidence when he's at the plate. Pitch of the at bat is lifted in the air out to left. And it's popped out. And Upton's got this one. Two away now. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Jason Lofgren is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 here to fly out. Now the pitch. Bye. Uh, a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. His fifth so far in this series. And the M's have taken a 3-0 lead. This is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing, and 
Sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. Oh. Jose Reyes digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. Now here's the pitch. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. They'll reach out with one hand to make a catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Down in order to go to the Tigers. A trailer here, three to nothing. Jason Lofgren strides forward to bat again, coming off a home run that plated three scores in his last appearance. Swing hard liner to left center. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Ah, oh, damn. Chris Carter stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike to throw. Oh. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Well, I think we all know this guy is the whole package out there. He's homered earlier in the ball game. Now he shows off those wheels by taking second here on the stolen base. Three runs, six hits. And no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He took second fairly easily. Any thought of third base here? I don't think so. He's got a good hitter at the plate. A single is probably all he needs. I'd let him try to drive the end. Come set, now to pit. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Oh, that can throw is right on target. He's out at the plane. Yeah, normally he's had the weakest arm out there in left field, but he says, what? Upton got me. me. Oh, no. I don't think so. He comes up rolling here and nails this man at home. Nick Castellano stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. He's set, now the pitch. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Lofton is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Jason Lofgren steps over the box here, and as he does, we flash it back in and number three. We should check out his three run the home run, a big blow early on. Seven nothing Mariners. Comes set. Now the pit. And he gets around on the fastball uh, here as this is hitting well out toward left field. Up then. He's got to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. James McCann will stand in to lead things off here. His guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. And you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. In the air to right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. 
around second. He'll try for third. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Oh, the Tigers are trying to stay alive. Nick Castellanos. Seven one Mariners. He's lined out and flight out in two trips. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Oh damn it. What am I doing? Out near the wall and should be extra bases. Around second now, heading for third. And he'll make it into third here with a two-out triple. That man right there is so cool. Unlike the guys in the building, beside you, Ryan, to wind up with a triple. He was puffing and puffing all the way around it. He sees the opportunity of getting credit. He's able to make it there safely. Jason Lockrum is set to take some more swings. He homers back in the third inning. Bye. Turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. <laughs> so a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game as it's now a 6-1 ball game. It looks like the Mirrors are going to sweep the Tigers to go to their second straight World Series. But I want you to check out the location of where this pitch is in the strike zone. It's up and it's right down the middle. I, I mean, maybe you get away with that to a 220 hitting backup catcher. But this is really a great moment for these guys. They are the American yep. champions. And now they're going to get a shot to play for the ultimate prize, a chance at winning a World Series. <laughs> we swept the Tigers. The Mares have swept the Tigers to a World Series. So it's a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Really put his guys on his back and carried him to the big. That's a wrap here tonight. Eric Carroll, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Mariners win it 8-2. to two. Good night from Detroit.